Hola mga Lakers! Welcome back! If you are new to my channel, my name is Sir Kevin. I am an ICT coordinator and instructor in junior high school. I'm also an advocate of the Techie program. My goal is to share my knowledge and skills about educational technology, most especially to my fellow teachers. I upload videos every twice a week. So if you are interested in learning about educational technology, subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you will be updated on my latest video. We are now on part 3. If you want to check previous parts, just click the caption above. I made series of videos for me to show you how you can use Google Classroom. For this video, I will show you how you can create and give quiz assignments to your students. In your Google Classroom, go to Classwork tab. Then, click the Create button. Choose the quiz assignment. Name the quiz assignment and add instructions if needed. You can attach a file from Google Drive or from your computer, a link or a YouTube video. When you click Create, it gives you a list of Google applications, naming docs, slides, sheets, drawings, and forms. Below, as you notice, there is already available blank quiz template. If you don't have a prepared quiz, then let's click this blank quiz to create one. It will proceed to Google Forms. Give a name for your quiz. Before you type your question, choose what type of question it will be. There are three common types of questions. Multiple choice, short answer, and checkbox. For this demonstration, I'm going to use those three types of questions. Let's use the short answer first. One question is to ask for the complete name of the students. Next, to add another question, just click this plus icon. Then my second question is for the section of the student. I'll make it require to make sure it won't be left blank after the quiz. Then, let's choose multiple choice. This will be my uh, first question of my quiz. Let's add a sample question and sample options. Below, you can see the answer key. Click this one to choose the correct answer and let's assign points. You can also give feedback for every correct and incorrect answer. To do that, just click this add answer feedback. Type any feedback you like. For incorrect answer, you can simply type, sorry, the correct answer is option 1. For a correct answer, you can write, excellent. You can also attach a link or a YouTube video. Let's try one. Click the YouTube icon and search a video to attach. Click the video until it will automatically added as feedback for every correct answer. To add another question, click this plus icon. Let's choose checkbox. It is a type of question with more than one answer. Let's type a sample question and sample options. Click answer key to choose the correct answer and assign points. I can give more than one point for this question. It depends on your preference on how you would like to give points on your quiz. Giving answer feedback should be also consistent. Let's add another question. This time, I'm going to use image as part of my question. Click this image icon to insert image. Then upload image from your local file or Google Drive. You can also add image on your options by clicking this image icon. Click answer key to choose the correct answer and assign points. And don't forget to give your answer feedback. When you're done with all the questions, click this gear icon for quick configuration. Check limit to one response to make sure student can only take the assessment once. On the quizzes tab, 
make sure it releases the result immediately. And respondents can see a missed and correct answer and also their total points. Once you're done, click Save. If you want your quiz automatically closed so no one can access after the set time, you can add extension name form limiter. To add one, open a new tab and type form limiter extension. Click install and it will be downloaded and added as an extension. On your form, click this puzzle like icon. Choose form limiter. Set the date and time. This extension is a great help to avoid taking quiz outside the set time. Once you're done, close the Google form. At the side, give corresponding points, assign due date, and take note that the time set is the end time of the quiz. You can also add rubric if you want. Choose assign schedule or save as draft. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose schedule. Set the date and time and click schedule to finish. When all of your students turn in, you can now check their quiz. Sad to say, there is no attachment available for a quiz assignment for you to check. Instead, you need to go to the quiz file and export the result. To do that, click this folder icon. Choose the quiz form. Click the sheet icon to export result. On the spreadsheet, you will see the list of your students with their scores. Transfer manually the score of the students from the Google Sheets to your Google Classroom. You can add private comment before you return the result. If the student missed a quiz, you can give zero and return it. The good thing about making quiz in Google Classroom uh, students can see their scores and answer feedback right away, while teachers can get the result of the assessments right after the student submitted their quiz. No more manual checking of students' quiz one after another. If this video helps you a lot, give a like and share to the people you think who needs to see it. And don't forget to subscribe. That would be all for now. My name is Sir Kevin and thank you for watching. See you on my next video.